everyone, Jackie from GMC Creates back with another project for you and today I'm making another Easter project which is this one. Can you see that? My phone doesn't look too straight up there but as long as you can see that's all that matters. This is actually, I've seen this before done with lip balms and things in it. So only they closed over at the sides and things so I just put my little six eggs in and I used the classic label punch to give me a hole to decorate it with so that you could see what you're getting now I've done a stash up go me so I'm going to tell you what I used on these two anyway very vanilla card springtime foils Easter wishes from my stash, bunny rabbit from a good day, foil card, and the banner dies are from my stash. Okay, and the gems are from my stash. That's that one. This one is Melon Mambo and Foil Frenzy. The dies from my stash. Here's to a good day comes from the good day sentiment. And the little birdie comes from my stash and the gems are from my stash okay today we're going to make a pink one now I have used on this I have used this Stumpin' Up three corner punch okay and um, it's retired so you could just round the corners so I used this one on the outside and this one on my layer okay and I've already done that on my layer. Okay. Right. So what you're going to need today is. This time I'm going to use maybe a wee binder clip. And I might use a pink bunny. And I might use a pink bunny and a pink heart. And I might use a happy Easter. That are all from my stash and I'm using the same banner dies. They come banner dies are actually from Hobby Base. Okay, and in this one I'm using the sweet soiree papers. And I can't remember what the colour of that card is, so uh, I'll I'll get back to you. Haha. <laughs> right, let's get started. Let's put them wee furry bits there. Try not to lose the bunny rabbit. Okay. Right, where's my destructions? Come here. Oh, and I used the classic label punch for it to cut out my hole. Right, for the slider box bit, you need a piece that is seven and a quarter by four and one eighths. Okay. And then for the wrap bit, you need a piece that is seven and five eighths by four and a half. And um, we'll, our larger layer is four and a quarter by three. This one is four and a quarter by one. And this one is four and a quarter by half an inch. Okay. Right. Which bit have we got in here? We've got the wrap bit, so we'll start with that. You start at a half. Okay. And then you need to do an 1 and 11 sixteenths, which would be just... Slide that out. 1 and 11 sixteenths. Okay, that would be it. So let's... Yes, okay. 2 and 7 sixteenths. Which would be there. And score again. Then we need to score at 3 and 5 eighths. And that's it for your wrap. Okay, for this one we want to score at 3 quarters. And 1 and a half on all four sides. Okay. And if you can hear Chatham, it's my loud, my son, just come in talking about the football. 
He's so loud. Oops, look, I scored that in the wrong bit. Three quarters. And one and a half. Apparently Man United won. Go them. I'm so excited. <laughs> right, that's it. No more scoring. I'm going to go and shut my door because you do my hair in. Right, we've returned. You can still hear him right enough, but hey. He maybe pops his head in and say hello. He pops his head in and says hello and leaves again. But at least he says hello. So we're just going to burnish this. This little sliding in section is actually reinforced. I'm just going to do all my burnishing at once. And then I'm going to stick my layers on to give them a time to dry before I punch it because I'm going to punch through two layers with a classic label punch. Right, so that one's going on there. Okay, that one's going on there. And this one's going on next to it. Okay, that's those two. You have to remember to mark these all on the right sides. Okay, so they will come up round like that. Why is that not sticking down? Okay, that's those two. And then this one here, we need to do this with this punch. Oh, that's hard work when you've got sore hands. And if you don't have a punch like that, any fancy corner punch or corner rounder would do. Right, and this is our other layer. We'll just stick it on while we're at it. Okay. And that's that. Just stick it on so your wee corners are... Make sure you're even at all sides. As even as you can get. Okay, right, and we're going to leave that to dry because we have to punch it. So this is our reinforced box. So once again, we're taking the three outer corners away from both four sides, from all four sides. You take the three outer corners away. Okay. There we go. Two down. Three down. Okay. Just take... I'm staggering these so that they're not all folding in to the one side. Okay. Just ignore that extra score on there. My, my, my score went off. I went off piste. I had to bully it back again. Okay. And the last one. Okay. And then all you want to do is measure those four wee scores that you've left. Or four wee squares, I mean. Just measure them so that when the sides fold over, they fold over without any fuss. I forgot to turn the radio off. You want to listen to the news. News is depressing. So it is. Very depressing. Okay. Oops. 
There we go. And the last one. And that's your four sides mirror. Right, now what? I'm just going to fold these outer bits back so that I can stick these other bits in without any problems. Oops, back here. I would say it was I would say it was rice, but I don't think it was ginger, I think it was black. And I no longer have a black cat, unfortunately, much as I would love one. Right, just fold your corners in, making sure they're nice and flat. So you do. My husband's having a field day down the stairs. First of all, he watched the football on the one, and then he's watching the rugby on the one. God knows what he's watching now. That'll make up for the fact that TG will be here at six o'clock and they'll not be able to watch nothing from now till tomorrow at four o'clock when he gets home. <laughs> That'll be, can we play talking cheese, cheese banda? He calls them, he's four years old and when he was younger he couldn't say granda so he called him banda. So now he just gets caught banda. Doesn't get called granda, he just gets caught banda. If you hear barking, it's my son driving our dog mad in the next room. That feels a wee bit. We have a big husky. There's a big spoiled bugger lying in the bed last night and I couldn't get any room to sleep. And if you go to move them, he growls at you as if to say it's his bed. And then he soon gets a short, sharp shift from me. They might be tiny, but I bite. <laughs> Right, that's your e slider box ready for your six. Your six. Your six. Many eggs is what I'm trying to say. There we go. I know that took a while. That was more painful than it should have been. I see you about not sticking down on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now we're going to punch this. And what I do is, in the inside, it's actually from score to score, it's three centimetres. So I made a mark at one and a half and I didn't bring my pencil. One and a half. It's getting dark, unfortunately. But this is the last one I'm doing today, so I want to get it out of the way before Super Brat arrives. I just make a mark at one and a half to help me find the center of that. And then I just slide my punch in and line it up. So that it's roughly in the middle on both sides and punch and that's it. That's our wee, our window done and I actually put my sweeties in before I put my wrap bit up. 
you want to put a bit of sort of double sided shape in that so you do and then I put my sweeties in and wrap it up so that I know it's a perfect fit okay perfection personified and just bring your back up and that's your little box done easy peasy right then I just need to decorate it so I've cut the banner dies in three sizes two in pink and one in the patterned paper I'm just going to layer them all on top of each other and again Okay. Now, I was going to put my bunny rabbit on there, but he kind of gets lost. So he does. He definitely gets lost. What will we do? What will we do? What will we do? Let's see. How this looks. Just put that on there and then just hold it on with that this time. Okay. And I think I'm going to put my happy Easter along here this time. Okay. I'm just going to put a wee bit of glue in my hand and stick my happy into it okay and put it down roughly where you want it and don't press it down too hard till you decide that you're staying there that you're east that you easter i was going to say that you're lined up even Okay, that'll do that. Right, what about my bunny rabbit there? Okay, we'll put him there. But I still would like a sentiment, which means I'm going to go and have to get one and stump it because I would like a sentiment on it. Well, I suppose there is one on with the, with the Happy Easter in the front. God, I'm a dummy do that. Right, and put him on there. I think get off there. See that beast? Do you think I could make a video without saying the word beast? Hmm, that would be interesting. <laughs> Highly improbable, I would state just now. Right. Gems. When all else fails, get out your gems. Okay. Right. Ooh, them's a nice colour, but no good for this. And actually, I think... Oh, I need pink on there. I put them ones. No, them's not the right colour at all. Do your head look jaggy if you think them's the right colour. We have to put gems or four corners anyway, so we're putting pink pearly ones on. On our four corners. Okay. Oops. Right. Right. I'm going to go and cut a wee silver 
Do you mind it's just over and that? Um, I shall be back. Back again. I have this tiny little guy in my stash and it cuts a heart and it cuts a bunny rabbit out of the heart. And I have no idea where it came from. But that is what I'm going to use on there. Now, do, do you think I could raise that up on there? Coulda. Coulda, coulda, coulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. And I need a wee half of that one just. Oops. Come here, you beast. Do your bed or else it'll be curtains for you. Right. I'm just going to stick that on my banner. And if I can find the wee rabbit, I'm going to stick him on too, but I set him down and I don't know where. Right, about there. Okay. Let's get a wee bunny rabbit. Right, where is my wee bunny? Oh, there he is. I'm going to stick him on too, just for fun. Okay, I'm going to stick him on there. Happy Easter! There you go. That's my wee project all over and done. I quite like that. So there's that one in the pink and the gold and the blue for a boy, so I think I quite like the gold one the best. Mm. But it doesn't really matter, they're all blinking pretty. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and I hope you like the project. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you have anything you'd like to say or ask, please feel free and I will endeavour to answer all your comments. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the fact that people are actually subscribing to my channel it's the only it's the one thing that makes you want to keep going is the fact that people are and I've just found a wee pink bunny and I'm going to stick him on that side <laughs> I know okay right anyway thanks for stopping by Jackie out